The location is secret. Everybody is asked to wear black and to bring their friends. They're called secret dinner parties, and they are advertised all over social media. Maybe you have seen them, but one would uh, be oh, one would be diner says it now. She's wondering if all of this is a scam, and she walked our Caitlin Ross through what happened. Caitlin, all yours. When Tanisha Landry saw the ad for Dinner and Noir on Facebook, she says she thought it would be fun. She called up her friends, reserved a table, even bought a new outfit, all for it to be postponed just 24 hours before the event. Yeah, I was going to cheat a little, right? So I had an all black jumper, but it had white around the, uh, just a little bit of white around the arms. So yeah. Tanisha Landry had everything set for the Dinner and Noir party. She says her friends bought a table for eight and were looking forward to the November 2nd event. Knowing where it is is one of those things you don't get until the day of the event. But late on November 1st, she got an email that the event was postponed. The organizers didn't exactly say why and didn't say when it would be rescheduled either. I was like, what, like, what am I going to do now? The email told diners the event would be rescheduled eventually, and their website says it doesn't offer refunds for any reason whatsoever. So Landry's worried she's out a lot of money. The ticket was over 100 bucks because, again, we got the plated experience, and then you actually had to become a member as well. Landry says she's now questioning everything about the event. That just makes me think from a business perspective, is there something that's not set up the right way? People in Baltimore and Chicago posted online that events in their cities were postponed as well. Dinner in Noir has not responded to our requests for comment, nor to people who asked online about what happened. But in the email, the event organizers told people not to post negatively about what happened. I've never, when I tell you, never seen this in my life. Landry says she will definitely think twice before booking online again. The secret dinner parties are like the, a thing, you know, for the last four or five years, they've become really popular. But this experience right here, it just really puts a bad taste in my mouth. So what can you do if you bought tickets to this event and want to post what you think, that you were ripped off? Opinions are protected as free speech, but experts advise to sticking to the facts, like the event was postponed with less than 24 hours notice, not this is an incompetent organization. As far as the charges, you can try and dispute them with your credit card company. Some people posted online they were successful at getting those charges taken off their cards. Or you could try and take the event organizers to small claims court, but you may end up spending more money fighting the charges than you spent in the first place.